No, it's a very difficult question. What's a life ambition? My life is very large and my life is very small. So, where do you begin? And then when you reach my age, maybe it will be health. Perhaps when I was younger, it was wealth. So, it's, a, it, it's more like how to live. How do you want to live? We collided, so we decided to make peace. <laughs> I'm a poet before I'm a painter, so that's how it came. And then when you start to learn about movements in the arts, from Dada, Surrealism, Symbolism, and then one just, just like, struck me in my youth was like Surrealism, because it was both painting and poetry. So that's why I'm saying, I don't know whether we collided, because there were other things that just fell by the wayside and then the art life and way of thinking remained and that's what makes me apart from other things that make us because there's a lot that makes us. Art making, apart from all other things like healing, therapy and that, there's quite something else about it, surprise, self-discovery. I've always been fascinated by just drawing on the ground, especially when it's muddy. That's how ancient people live, drawing in the caves. Cave paintings are universal and then they almost express identical thing, the quest for enlightenment is that how do we need eat next? How are we gonna catch that animal? Or how do we communicate with God? Hence come the perpetual theme in my work is that I'm writing letters to God, if not the universe. So it's all those self assertions by way of creating personal myths and then become personal mystics and personal truths because that's all I have as a painter, as an artist. It's the creative truth, not the truth for everybody. It's mine, it's subjective also at the same time. Anything feminine inspires me. The way the flowers open inspire me. Conversations inspire me, reading inspire me. I mean, seeing beautiful artworks is very inspirational. Oh, there are days like Johannesburg storms when they caught you at the right time, the right place. And when I photograph, it's not just people or buildings, it's just small things, stains, which in a photograph translate to something else more than that. But above all, I think poetry is, always has been. T.S. Eliot says it very accurately. He says, prose is almost like walking with a purpose to get somewhere, whereas poetry is almost like dancing. So, things are, are endless. I can't say this is where my inspiration begins and ends. It's, it's formless, it's just all around me. It's, it's, it's not secular even, it's, it's straight sometimes and I have to follow that straight line and then it coils and I have to coil with that and then maybe jump off it and it'll sit back and just look. Sometimes we just have to let things to happen almost as if they're happening for themselves. All you have to do is to control the materials. I don't think I uh, would stop painting. How do you stop writing letters to God? Or how do you stop communicating if you're a communicator? How do you stop healing if you're a healer? How do you stop teaching if you're a teacher? Just because what? Content is everything. <laughs>